Hey everyone, I think we should be doing another species profile. Maybe we should take a closer look at this incredible species from Panama. Darien Heros calabrensis. It's pretty outstanding. Let's take a peek. These are Cal Brents. Um, these are found in Panama as well. One of my favorite fish. Um, and uh, it, the interesting thing about it is this, is that there was a lot of uh, literature about this fish um, being aggressive, not being easy to take care of, but um, I found it not to be completely accurate. The fish is very easy to take care of. Absolutely stunning. We're running a little bit cooler water on it right now, so um, they're not showing, they're not as colorful as they normally are, but um, the fish is fantastic. It doesn't, probably max size I'd say on this fish is about nine or 10 inches. They're reds, blues, greens, um, easy to take care of. They'll pretty much eat anything. Uh, they do have a little bit of a uh, water requirement. They like water that's a little bit softer, not as hard. They tend to do a little bit better in softer water. Um, they get a little bit nippy on one another. They'll, they like to nip each other up a little when they're spawning. Um, not particularly difficult to spawn and not particularly difficult to, uh, to grow either. Uh, the one thing I'll tell you is they, they, these again require, um, they require very clean water. If you don't have clean water, if you don't have balanced water, uh, they're susceptible to parasites and uh, things like ick and odenium a lot more than, than any other fish are. So you gotta be, you gotta be mindful of that. Um, but short of that, uh, one of my favorite fish, it's found in uh, Rio Terrable. I actually brought uh, quite a few of these in from uh, the UK from a, from a hobbyist, from a fellow hobbyist who was kind enough to, to share them with us. And they were juveniles at the time. This was about maybe four years ago. Uh, five years ago, prior to visiting um, visiting um, uh, Panama. But what happened was when I went to uh, Panama, it was kind of uh, interesting because these are Rio Terrable, and on our way to Darien, we actually passed Rio Terrable. So we said, hey, why don't we throw a cast net in and see if we can catch any of these. So we're fortunate enough to catch some at a decent size, and uh, these, are the, these are the ones that we've caught now. Uh, we brought them back and they were anywhere from, at the time when we cast that for them, they were anywhere from two and a half inches all the way up to about five, six inches, seven inches. I think we caught one with Rusty Russell that's like maybe nine inches, eight and a half, nine inches that's sitting in a show tank of I mean, his gorgeous fish. Um, so, uh, so it's just it's just a fish that that is uh, is one of my favorites. That's why it sits up in front, so that when I walk in, I I look at it. I, it kind of makes me sad because of the fact that um, not a lot of people know about the fish. I wish more people were interested in this fish. Um, is there any special uh, dietary requirements or anything different, like uh, unlike say like the asphragite? No, not really. They'll take any aquarium prepared food. Um, it's just one of those things that that um, there's a lot of fish that have name recognition that are popular in the hobby. This just isn't one of them. It would be if more people kept it and more people displayed the fish. I'm probably just as guilty as, as anybody not displaying it more often. I think most people have just yeah. never seen it before. Yeah. So, but it's, uh, if you like fish that are, if you like fish like Grimaud's, if you like fish that are like, um, like uh, I'd say, Islanum or even Dovi, but they don't get as big. They have, they're just as colorful. They don't have the aggression, but they certainly have the attitude. They have the personality. They're not shy. They're easy to maintain, and they're very, very colorful. So, um, you know, the difference is that uh, 
with a lot of the fish that are that have a lot of personality, they tend to be over 15, 16 inches, 20 inches when they're fully grown. These guys will max out at nine inches, and you'll get just as much personality as, as anything else. So they're just as easy to take care of, and you don't have to deal with anywhere near the aggression level. So these fish can do damage to one another, but not like not like a dovi or right. a grimoth. So it's not a it's not a death sentence if they get into a fight. They'll yeah. just kind of fight and they'll move on their own way. A few little scratches or split fins, and that's about the most. It. That's about it. And you know, a couple of these guys are nicked up because they're about to pair off again. Um, so it happens, but when they're not, I'm sure there's a couple of males in here that are looking uh, to uh, to uh, uh, have babies with, with their girls. So. Um, you know, that happens from time to time, but it's nothing major, they heal right up, so. Very cool. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. One would be hard pressed find it, to find a more beautiful species of fish from the New World than Dario Heroes Calabrensis. This fish is truly stunning and a very welcomed addition for New World cichlid fanatics worldwide. This species was described by Meek and Hildebrand all the way back in 1913. And the type locality for the original specimen was the Rio Calobre, but it has a wide range of dispersal. Now, Darien Heros is a monotypic genera. It's, a, it's obviously a cichlid from the family Cichlidae. Darien Heros is named for the Darien area between Panama and Colombia in combination with the old cichlid genus name Heros, which translates to hero. The name Darien originates from the language spoken by the indigenous Coeva, an Indian tribe that lived in the Darien region of eastern Panama and that were destroyed by the conquistadors during the 16th century. The genus name is to be understood as the hero of the Darien. As Dan mentioned, the species is relatively easy to care for as far as most Central American cichlids are concerned. General pH of 6.5 to 7.5, medium to rated hardness, and a temperature between 25, 27, and 32 degrees Celsius should do them fine. Lots of rocks, pots, and structure should break up the visual barriers and create territories for those territory males. As Dan mentioned, see the odd little split fin occasionally. That's because those males are getting ready to spawn. But those beautiful red spots, those electric red spots that cover the flanks, that salt and peppering of the spotting, and that incredible baby blue eye makes this one truly incredible species. I sure hope to have some Darien Heroes Calabrensis swimming in one of my tanks soon. As always, my friends, thanks for watching.